channel. If you're new, welcome. Violet here and Kayla. And today we're gonna be reacting to something different. It's not a music video. It is hashtag Kurt Bay. I don't know if you guys know this, but like a year ago, there was this huge video that was like all over social media of these two exes meeting up and discussing like their relationships and like he was cheated on her and all this crap and it was like a big thing on social media. And they came back a year later. It's called hashtag Kurt Bay 2. One year later, Courtney and Leonard, is that how you say his name? Meet again. So we're gonna watch it and see what it is all about. Are you ready, Kayla? I'm ready. Are they ready? Okay. I was in love with you. I wanted to be with you. Okay. But that's all the past now. Ah, okay. I hope I never see you again. Damn! <laughs> you see her face? <laughs> what? I learned a lot this past year. Grew my social following, my career, my life did like a 180. I'm in a good place, taking care of myself, you know, drinking more water, exfoliating. Don't I'd like to me. learn my lessons the hard way. People feel like they know the whole story of our relationship from watching a She's five so minute cute. video, which is just absurd. And, you know, kind of makes me seem like a bad person, which I'm not. Not a bad person. And the first one who was like acting so heartless. Yeah. So why is he shocked that people react that he way? He was like one of the only people I could relate to. There hasn't really been a video like this before. Yeah. You're like infamous now. I used to read the comments and see all the fucked up shit people would say, which death on me, Damn. being judged by people that don't know me is really, I don't take it personally. I'm a black man living in America, so I've kind of been judged on things outside of my character my <laughs> true. whole life. It's true, but, but I mean, he's just relating it. He's taking one thing and relating it to, to something another, that doesn't like... even add up. Like... But people weren't just judging him. They were judging him what was showing exactly on camera. What he was they weren't just seeing him and then judging him like he is talking about black people. How do you expect yeah. people to react to you saying like, "Oh, I cheated," and like being yeah. heartless and, and stuff? Uh, yeah, and being heartless about it and her crying and you're they're, they're like, like staring at her. Like those baby hairs, though. Damn. <laughs> Part of the reason I did the video was so that you know Courtney would be able to move on, so that I could. Yes, because you still wanted to be with me after I didn't want to be with you. Did I? Yeah, I don't know what are you, you talking sit about? Up here. When you approached me to do the video, you were not exclusive. I was not exclusive. I was You exclusive. did your thing. I, I did, did my not thing. do my thing. We did this to get exposure as entertainers. That's not true. I asked you to do it so we could talk about things because we never talk about things. What is there to talk about? Us being together. We were never together. This is what happened. I'm just lost. Chill for the night. Shut up. Shut up. That would be what? me. That would be me. Yeah, right? like what? Shut up. But I kind of want to hear his part too at the same time. But he's not saying much. Yeah, he's not really he's saying much. Yeah. Me. And he's not going about it the right way. Like if you actually want people to hear your side. Don't get some truth. You can't. Like, see? why are you adding? You're tripping. Hmm? You're tripping. Sit down. Fuel to the fire. Deep. Sit down. What are you doing? Yo, let me see. Oh my. Oh. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't go about saying stuff the right way. Like, he, I guess he wants to get his point across, whatever. He's misunderstood. He doesn't want to take blame. Yeah, he does. For what he did. So he's just blaming everything on her. Put me through hell, Leonard. I want to talk to you real quick. It's over with. You're not on my team. When I. What? Okay, I'm going to. Let's you should have said to hell with him. I said he's not a bad person. Because you know that I'm times. Not saying he's not a bad person is not saying, oh, he told me that he didn't want to be in a you relationship. You never said that. Never? You didn't say that. Sister, give up. So why like, didn't you say this last time? Because. Why didn't you tell me last time when we were here, you were never my girlfriend, I never cheated on you. Right. Now because we came here to get on. Maybe that was the case for you, but I had feelings for you and I wanted to know what was going on. You don't want to face the truth. It's like he's just trying to get under her skin is what it seems like to me. Like he's just saying stuff to get under her skin and to make her like cry or something. Like I don't know. I, I wouldn't have come back. The whole time we messed around, I told you, hey Courtney, like I really like you, I love you, but I don't want to be in a relationship with you. That's never what I wanted. Mm. How do you love somebody and not want to be with them? I mean, well, if he wants to like just be a player, then he might actually school. have feelings for her. We met in college, um, we met in class. And you really didn't like me. No, I didn't like you, Brandon. 
A couple years later, we moved into like the same apartment complex. And the first day we both moved there, we like met on the elevator again. It was like a reunion. And then you offered to bring my groceries upstairs. And um, yeah, we spent a lot of time together. Like every day. I would say that you were my best friend. And now he's denying it. Well, you know what though, if you hear what the stuff he's saying, he's like, nah, I would say you're my best friend. He never said anything about you were my girlfriend or anything. Mm. I mean, did he say anything? Like, let's see. Like, he didn't really say anything about them and being in a relationship, in all honesty, in the first one. I just think she's just like her, like all together, like just... With a great guy, and we're very happy. I actually uh, was in a relationship when we shot the first one. Right? You didn't say that last time. I don't have to, it's not your business. I don't have to tell you everything. He seems hurt. So why is he saying it now? He seems hurt. He, he's just like, he seems hurt. Too. Well, since you're gonna say that, let me just say I was in a relationship the first one. Like hurt base, hurt base. Hurt base. You're, you're, she's hurting his ego. <laughs> she did not offer this. I know she did. I know that's like, why. I, I gotta get my punches in there. I was in love with you. So I wanted to be with you. But that's all. I hope I never see you again. Damn. I like music. <laughs> what? I'm just. This is such a weird thing to do. It's kind of weird. Just the way they're acting is kind of weird, no? They're so calm about what they're saying. Like, I never want to see you again. I want my hands off you. Oh. Oh, God. It's never that. He's extra. They're. <sighs> it's so pointless. I don't. It's so point. That was. In all honesty, guys, that was really pointless. Okay, this is my theory. I know I don't know shit about them, and they are right. I don't know anything about the relationship. This is what I get from it. It seems like they were sleeping together. She had feelings, he had feelings, but he wasn't trying to date her. And they were just messing around, and he was messing around with other girls, and she got hurt to, in it. And then, that's what it kind of seems like. But how do you, like, how do you go about thinking that you're in a whole relationship and that you even got cheated on? Like, how does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that's true. I don't understand. That's true. I think he was leading her down the wrong path. Like, his actions probably wasn't matching what he was saying. Like, you know how guys, some guys and some girls, like, well, your actions aren't really matching what you're saying. Like, you be doing, you know how you always see those memes on social media, like, oh, I know I say I love you. I know we have kids together. I know I married you, but that don't mean that we're together. <laughs> like, you know you see those memes? Yeah, it's that's what it seems like. That's like oh. cla classic case of what it seems like is going on here. Like, he's given her all the stuff that a relationship should have, but then he's like, well, we're not together though. It's really relatable though. It's so like, relatable because so I feel like some people go through this shit. Exactly. Like, Where the guy's just like, he didn't establish like, that they're in a relationship. I, 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 I know we go on dates every weekday or every weekend. I know you've met my family, I've met yours, but I'll be we're together though. I know I've said I love you 10 million times. That don't mean we're together. I know we live together. I know we live together. Well, like, <laughs> I know we have a dog together, but that don't mean we're together, though. Like, calm down, man. Like, girls need to chill. Girls need, are crazy. Need to out chill. Here. Why are you catching feelings right now? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> That's what it seems like it happened, and she got lost somewhere. And she's <laughs> like, I <"Are> really, really. <laughs> Yo, this girl. <laughs> he was cutting deep, though. He's just. It's just how he says stuff. Like, how you say, I never want to see you again. Like, no passion. It's like indifference. Like you know how they're always like saying the the difference, the opposite of love isn't hate is indifference. That's what it's. He's like he has indifference, and indifference is more painful than hate. That at least hate you have something towards a person, like you feel a passion towards a person. Indifference is just kind of like, yeah. Indifference you don't <laughs> give a crap. You don't give a shit. <laughs> okay, lost. I'm just so lost. I'm so lost. Like they need to come out and literally just like explain this and just be on to one side and just explain it properly because they're saying two different stories right now. I'm just lost. That conversation, like that was very pointless. They got nothing out of it. All they got was more freaking like stab wounds. That's all they got. Well, she did. She, well, he did too. I was just Yeah, the his. whole, oh. Oh, I was in a relationship. I, I, I'm in a happy time. relationship. We're doing so well. And he's like, well, I was in a relationship mm -hmm. the first time we filmed. Mm -hmm. You know how like people are always like, oh, I want closure, I want closure? It's one of those where you just really, <laughs> it's one of those. 
<laughs> it's one of those where you really just don't need closure. Just, just move you need to move on, on, like, and act like it's never. I think happened. the first video, okay, like that shouldn't have happened either. If it's a toxic relationship, there's nothing to talk about. Walk away. Yeah. The first video, that should have been your last straw. I don't know why you guys are coming back a year later <laughs> and talking about something that you talked about a year before. You well, know, like, though, it is good for the careers, though, in honesty. Their like, careers, yeah. Saying, like, I remember, like, after the first They're making video, money moves. They're making money moves. <laughs> She's not going to cry. She makes money moves. <laughs> People need to learn how to communicate because communication yes. is key. Yes. It feels good to communicate. Maybe it was. Maybe she, he wasn't listening or she wasn't listening. But, yo, there's no way you should think you're in a relationship and you're not in one. Unless he's just lying out of his ass. He, he should have told her. He yeah, he, he should have been like, hey. But, you know what? He said he did, but he said that she wasn't getting it. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever the case is, someone is not telling the whole truth or whatever, but communication is key, guys. That's what I learned from this, is that communication is yes. key. Every step of the way, you guys should both know where you're at. If you guys are talking, you guys know that. If you guys are dating, you guys should know that. If you guys are in a relationship, you guys should know that. If you're gonna get married, you guys should know that. If you're about to propose, you should know You should that. know. Like, you should already know the girl's answer before you even try to propose. Well, what do you guys think about this video? Like, what do you think about Hurt Bay? What do you think about Courtney? What do you think about Leonard? Leave a Let comment. Let us know. Yeah, leave a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe for more reaction videos coming your way. And I'll see you back here next time. It might be with Kayla. It might be with someone else. You have to come back and see. Is that all?